Understanding the Vernal Equinox, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore an interesting and beautiful natural phenomenon, the Vernal Equinox. This topic is not only fascinating but also a great way to enhance our English language skills. So, let's dive in and unravel the mystery of the Vernal Equinox together. The Vernal Equinox is one of the key astronomical events that marks the beginning of spring in the Northern Hemisphere. It usually occurs around March 20th or 21st each year. This event is characterized by a specific moment when the sun is exactly above the equator. During the vernal equinox, day and night are approximately of equal length, hence the term equinox, derived from Latin, meaning equal night. The vernal equinox isn't just a scientific occurrence. It holds significant cultural importance across the world. Many cultures celebrate it as a time of renewal and rebirth. For instance, in Japan, the vernal equinox is a national holiday known as Shunbin no Hai, a day to honor nature and living beings. Similarly, in ancient cultures, this equinox was celebrated as a time of fertility and sowing new crops. Scientifically, the vernal equinox happens due to the Earth's tilt and its orbit around the Sun. Unlike summer and winter solstices, during the equinoxes, the tilt of the Earth's axis is perpendicular to the Sun's rays. This position allows for nearly equal amounts of daylight and darkness at all latitudes. With the arrival of the vernal equinox, we begin to experience longer days and shorter nights. This change in daylight is gradual and leads to the warming of the weather, setting the stage for the spring season. It's a transitional period from the cold winter to the warmer summer months. I hope this video has given you a clear understanding of the vernal equinox and its significance. It's a wonderful example of how nature's rhythms are deeply intertwined with our lives and cultures. Thank you for watching and keep exploring the beauty and intricacies of the English language and the world around us.